Here you actually see my blog. Professor Nazar El Sayad has written blogs and books about Egypt and runs the Center for Middle Eastern Studies at UC Berkeley. Despite the Egyptian government's efforts to shut down the internet during protests, he was still able to communicate with friends and family in the country. Did it stop the protests? Absolutely not. We know for a fact that it did not. Did it uh, bring about a situation where people could not communicate with each other? Yes, to some extent, although those who were determined managed to communicate with each other. Social networking analysts say sites like Facebook and Twitter allowed protesters to organize without the need for a designated leader. I couldn't do anything as an individual, but together we could do something. And it was the profiles and the richness that's built into the service inside of Facebook that really gave it that galvanizing movement. But Professor Al Sayad says it's wrong to call this a Facebook revolution. Because it is a revolution by ordinary people who happen to use Facebook as the technology of communication, and they would have resorted to other technologies had Facebook not been available. Still, many believe the ongoing protests in the Middle East are providing a blueprint on how to successfully use social networking to elicit change. Haven Daily, The Associated Press.